All right, so we're back with the CO2 car, and I'm going to show you guys how to draw inside wheels on the front. So we already have the wheel where we want it, and we're going to use line. And of course, we need to make sure object snap is on. Check your object snap settings. Make sure quadrant is there. Click on line. Bring your cursor to the side. Get your diamond. Bring it straight up. If your uh, line isn't going straight, press F8. Remember, F8 makes it go straight. That's orth trap. And now I'm going to put a line from the center here going straight through the car. I'm going to zoom up on this mess. And I'm looking at the GTFX wheel in the Pitsco catalog. And it tells me that the entire width of the wheel is 11.5. So I'm going to bring up the calculator here for a second. And then it's got these two little pieces that stick out on the side of it. And the actual part of the wheel that touches where the rubber meets the road, I guess, is 2.15. So I'm going to subtract 2 point, and I'm going to bump it up to 2.5 just so that you have a lot of, little bit of wiggle room there. 9.25, divide that number by 2. And we're going to make the little nubs 4 and 5 eighths. 0. 0.625 is 5 eighths. Offset. Type in offset. There we go. Type in offset. Point, whoops, 4.625. And guys, remember this is millimeters, so it's really teeny tiny. We're going to go this way, and we're going to go that way off the center. And we're going to offset again, 2.25, because that's what I'm bumping the size of that wheel up to. Okay. And then offset, 4.625 again. Okay. Zoom out. And I'm going to pan. Zoom back in, and I'm going to draw a line from the center of this circle straight up. And now I know that the thickness of this piece has to be at least 3 millimeters because that's the size of the axle. So I'm going to make it 4 so that it's visible. Offset. Well, it's going to go 2 each way, so put in 2. There you go. Now if you zoom up on this mesh, you can kind of see the wheel. Here's the, the nub, here's the wheel itself, and here's the inside nub. So let's type in trim and start getting rid of the junk. Select this line, select that line, right click somewhere in the black, and then left click what you want to get rid of. Okay, I don't want any of this stuff. I don't need this. Now hopefully you guys can see the wheels a little bit more clearly now. Type in trim again. Select this line and this line and this line and this line. Right click and get all the stuff in between. And here are your wheels. And this is actually like the straw where the axle is going to go. So trim again, select these little pieces here, right click, you can draw a box around them and they disappear a lot faster. Trim again, pick the outside of the car, right click, draw a box around all this junk. There. This is going to become a center line and then the rest of it is going to be hidden line. So let's go ahead and draw a box around it. That was an interesting little box there, AutoCAD. And I'm going to change to the hidden layer. Okay, and press Enter. And it missed this guy, so let's get him hidden. Enter, escape. Okay. And I want this to actually be a center line, so let's change that to center. Okay. And I want this to be a center line, so let's change that to the center layer. And 
now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom all. And we're going to draw the little axle hole here, which is of course going to be a hidden line. Circle, center diameter, find the center of the big circle, click, and the diameter of your axle is 3. And then we're going to project that up. And it's going to look really kind of ugly up in here. Repeat line, bring it up. Now if you zoom up, you get a whole bunch of hidden lines. But we can trim some of this away. So type in trim, select the top, select the bottom, right click, draw a box around all this stuff and it goes away. Now we know we need to offset that uh, center line so it sticks out. So offset, 3, enter, get both sides of the car, enter, extend, pick those two lines, right click, left click on the axle, uh, the center line rather, and then you can click and press delete on these lines. Now the reason I'm not trimming a, I'm not trimming away this middle part is this represents the straw that the axle kind of slides into. Um, I will get rid of it here where it's going through the wheel though. So trim, click this, click that, right click, get rid of all the stuff that's the outside one that's going through the wheel because it doesn't belong there. The axle does go through the wheel guys. Enter, right click again, repeat trim, get this guy, get this guy, right click, okay, and there are your inside wheels in the front.